Hello everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Digest, I hope you are all will be fine God give you more happiness and prosperity, if you new on YouTube channel subscribe it and press bell icon for upcoming videos so let's dive into today update. Hello everyone, welcome back to my recently, reports from Newshound Intel Guru BGG have highlighted the economic achievements under Prime Minister Mohammad Al Sudani. An analysis of Iraq's non-oil revenue growth from 2022 to 2024 shows significant progress under al-Sudani's leadership. Iraq's non-oil revenues have risen dramatically from 7 trillion Iraqi dinars to 27 trillion dinars in just two years. This remarkable growth indicates a strategic shift toward diversifying the economy, reducing reliance on oil, and improving overall financial stability. Such developments are essential for Iraq's long-term sustainability and economic resilience. From Intel Guru Marks via PDK, a common question among followers concerns Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization, WTO. According to Marks, Iraqi sources suggest that Iraq has completed all the necessary steps and is now simply waiting for an official announcement. This ascension is expected to be tied with the implementation of the Hydrocarbon Law, HCL. Sources claim that Iraq has met all the requirements, making an official announcement imminent. Becoming a WTO member could open up numerous avenues for trade and economic integration, which are critical for Iraq's growth. According to newshound guru Militiaman, there is growing optimism regarding Iraq's non-oil sector. Militiaman believes that Iraq's non-oil sector is expected to match or even surpass its soil revenue. Iraq is rich in various natural resources and human capital, and global demand for the Iraqi dinar is likely to increase as the country continues to stabilize and grow. The Development Road Project is one example of Iraq's ambitions to elevate its economic status. This massive infrastructure project is fully underway highlighting Iraq's commitment to global economic integration. The project serves as evidence of Iraq's proactive investments in building a robust economy that is less dependent on oil. From Intel Guru Frank 26, we have a boots on the ground report from Firefly. Mr. Sami, an Iraqi bank associate, mentioned that Iraqis are on the verge of gaining substantial purchasing power. While Iraqis will benefit directly, those outside the country also stand to make significant profits. Frank 26 supports this view, expressing confidence in the revaluation process, stating that he understands it thoroughly and even dreams about its potential. This suggests that the much anticipated revaluation could bring benefits both domestically and internationally. Newshound Guru Claire recently discussed an article that posed the question, is Iraq heading towards printing new paper currency? The Parliamentary Finance Committee responded by confirming that there is no intention to print new currency at this time. This statement should reassure those concerned about potential monetary changes, signaling that current financial strategies remain focused on stability and gradual growth. From Intel Guru Marks via PDK, reports indicate a struggle in Iraq involving the US dollar. An article titled Iraq Now Moving Backwards in Battle to Strengthen the IQD suggests that many Iraqis still prefer using the US dollar over the Iraqi dinar. This preference is likely to persist until the dinar's value is closer to or exceeds that of the dollar. Iraq's current challenge is to increase the dinar's value to mitigate this issue. Reports indicate that efforts are underway by the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, to address this problem. There are rumors that significant changes could occur as early as this weekend, potentially involving an increase in the dinar's value. While nothing is certain, these reports align with insights from finance ministry contacts and contractors in Iraq. Newshound Guru Militiaman refers to the theft of the century, a major corruption case involving NG the embezzlement of large sums of money. This issue has persisted underscoring the need for ongoing vigilance and reforms to prevent such occurrences in the future. 
Addressing corruption is crucial for building a stable and transparent economic environment in Iraq. According to newshound guru Samson, an article highlights a trend among Iraqis who are increasingly saving in gold instead of dollars. This shift towards gold is attributed to the continuous rise in gold prices. Many Iraqis are turning to gold as a safer investment compared to the US dollar, reflecting growing uncertainty about the stability of the currency market. From Intel guru Wolverine via Judy Byington, there are whispers that Iraq may have received the green light to proceed with a dinar evaluation. While it's not official, there is speculation that significant developments could be on the horizon.